Four local fire departments were called to an unusual call shortly after 10 this morning. A man crashed his ultralight motorized hang glider in Braceville Township. We spoke to a fire chief and the man's friend about what happened. First News reporter Brandon Jaycees has the details. Gentleman's a tough, tough gentleman. A 71-year-old man suffered a compound fracture on his left leg, a broken collarbone, and a few other injuries after crashing his motorized hang glider near the Braceville Airport this morning. He was then flown to the hospital. It wound up being about 35, 36 feet in the air. Gentleman stuck in the tree. Uh, plane was inverted, hanging from the, like the front tire. Uh, his leg was stuck in there the whole nine yards. He was wedged. He crashed in a swampy area, which made the rescue difficult. They had to use ATVs and ground ladders in order to get to him. It was uh, working off the top of 40 foot extension ladders, uh, trying to cut limbs down and get, you know, just, he was just tangled. He just hung and twisted right in the middle of all the trees. The pilot's friend Felipe witnessed the incident. He isn't sure how it happened, but they've been flying for over 40 years and very rarely see this happen. Took off, see my eventual. It was climbing out in a usual manner, makes a left hand turn, which is typical when you're flying out of the pattern. And then suddenly the turn became more steep and abrupt and uh, uh, the aircraft now is flying in a southerly direction and it struck the tree line. He and Chief Garland said he is lucky to be alive. Garland is also proud of how all the different departments worked together to rescue the man. Everybody worked great. We had awesome crew, awesome guys. I can't thank these guys enough, honestly. Garland said the pilot was wearing a seatbelt when he crashed. Warren's Ohio State Highway Patrol is investigating the crash. For WKBN 27 First News, I'm Brandon Jaycees.